In this short lesson, we are going to look at some pseudocolumns that are available in hierarchical queries. The first one is level, which is probably the one you will use more frequently. As the name implies, it allows you to see the level at which each row is in the hierarchy tree. Here is one of the queries I used in the previous lecture. And now I'm going to add the level pseudocolumn here to show you what it does. Let's look at the hierarchy tree of the M table again. As you see in the image, king is at level one of the tree, and one is precisely the number returned by the level of the column. In the tree, Jones, Blake, and Clark are at the second level, and that is what they have in the level of the column as well. And the same happens with the rest of the rows. So the level pseudo column tells us at which level of the hierarchy tree a row is. Okay, there is another pseudo column that is called connect by is leaf, which tells you if a row is a leaf in the hierarchy tree. What does that mean? Well, in a hierarchy tree, a leaf is a node that doesn't have any child. So in this case, Adams and Smith are leaves and all these other employees too, because they are not managers of anyone. So this pseudo column returns one when a row is a leaf, and zero when it is not. So I'm going to add it here. And there it is. Now I know which rows don't have any child. And the last pseudo column we are going to look at is connect by a cycle which is only valid if I use the no cycle parameter in the connect by clause. And it returns one when the row has a child, which is also its ancestor. I'm going to make the change to create the loop in the data again. And then I will use the same query I used in the previous lecture. And I'm going to add the connect by a cycle set of column here. As you can see, the row for Smith is marked as having a cycle, and that is because I said Jones as child of a Smith, but Smith is a child of Ford, and Ford is a child of Jones. So Jones is a child and also an ancestor of a Smith, and that is why the connect by E cycle so the column returns one for Smith. Okay, so where can you use these pseudo columns? Besides the select list? You can use them in the WHERE clause, because Oracle evaluates the WHERE conditions after building the hierarchy. And now, here is a small task for you. Please continue to the next lecture when you finish it. Good luck.